Pastor Arume Osai and Dr. Ebel Demaya, both of them are challenging each other regarding that someone who is battling with a sexual masturbation, that he should continue reading the Word of God while he's watching the video of masturbation. While this Aroma Osaya said, no, this is from the pit of the hell. So guys, I want you guys to take a look at this video and tell me in the comment section. Then I will come back again and add my own opinion regarding this issue. Take a look at the video and I will be right back. So when you hear a preacher say, if you are hooked up on pornography, continue watching, but keep coming to church. He works for Satan. You can't say it, but I'm called to say it. He's in league with the prince, with Bezebub. Because you need to know the reason for which Jesus came. Have you read the scripture that says, for this purpose the Son of Man was made manifest? Why? That he might do what? Even though works is in plural, if you read that scripture in context, what he calls the works of the devil is sin. So it means sin should reign as long as Jesus has not come. The evidence that Jesus has come to your life, has come to my life, is that sin cannot reign. That's the proof that the Son of Man was made manifest. Everyone knew that this message actually replied to Abel Damila because he is the one who came out with that answer when someone asked him regarding sexual issue, like when you have issue of masturbation, what can you do? That is where Apostle, which is Abel Damila said, you need to read the word of God while you are continuing doing this one. And this pastor said, no, this is from the pit of the hell. The devil is using this man. The devil is using this man. So here what Dr. Abel Damila said regarding this particular video. Take a look at the video. When they hear us speak the word of God, they excel, they get excited. Because when we speak the word of God, we are putting them in a gym mode where they're stretching their muscles, ready for work. When we speak the word of God, angels build stronger muscles, ready to carry out the world. Glory to God. I've told you before, superior knowledge does not bow to ignorance. So no matter how much they try to blackmail me and make me sound stupid, I look at them and I laugh. And then when I open my mouth, now they get angry. Because I just need to open my mouth. You know what will come out? Jatobaha. You know what will come out? Leave this thing. Leave this thing. Just like you and I, our container says very little about us. <laughs> a general met me in the hotel in Abuja. <laughs> he looked, looked, and finally came to me. He said, Damina. I said, yes, sir. He shook my hands. He said, but you don't look like what we're hearing. I said, it's not in looks. He said, I know, right? Dynamite come in little packages. He said, As, like this, when you speak now, the whole country will shake. Damina, keep saying it. Don't stop. We love what you're doing to us. He's a general in the army. He said, we love what you're doing, man. Don't stop. We love it. There's been too much rot in the body of Christ. We need this thing straightened out. But you know, guys, you're very brave, man. Because ordinary people cannot say the kind of things you're saying. I say, yes, sir. He said, but you don't look it. Then he started laughing. Me too, I started laughing. Paul was small, but his words were weighty and powerful. You, you can't know me by this container. No. The new creation is not revealed by flesh and blood. When I got born again, I doubted whether my physical status changed. The world exposes falsehood. That's why when we preach Christ, you hear people shaking in their boots. They can't stand superior arguments. When they answer us and we bring back our answer, they are shaking all over the place. Because, see and honor, falsehood cannot withstand the truth of the gospel. Bling, bling, turn to ugly monster. Phew, this thing was gone. Because there's a false Christ. And when is I'm going to talk about false Christ and how to know them? How to know false prophets? I'm going to give you with biblical, you know me, my answers are Bible so. Who are false Christ? Who are false apostles and prophets? How do you identify them? Don't miss Wednesday midweek service. God punished the devil and his mother-in-law. Are we in the building? Some have Jesus in visions, but not the Jesus of the scriptures. Any Jesus that cannot be reconciled with the written revelation of Jesus is a fake. He's a fake, fake, fake. He's a what? He's a what? He's a what? He's a what? You guys are correct. Love you guys have already seen and heard from him. And the issue what is doing this one is like kind of every one of men of God are coming out saying that uh, Abel Damina is working for the devil, is a gent of darkness, and then he's trying to lead the people to the dark side. Not only this 
apostle that they won't come out, but many of them are like kind of fighting with this man of God, which is called Abel Doctor Abel Demila. So, what is your own opinion on this particular token? Because it's really very important for you to help a brother who is struggling with this kind of issue, but they don't know how to come out about it. And that's why I want to lead you and also read the scripture along. The scripture and the Bible condemn this, right? But at the same time, if you are battling with this kind of thing, you need to devote yourself into a prayer. Then come together as husband and wife. But if you didn't come together as a husband and wife, that is where Satan will come in and tempt you to become that kind of person you are doing masturbation. First thing first, you need to have the spirit of self-control, no matter how. Yeah, most those things they used to do for the people who are single. But if you are a married man and you are battling with masturbation, try and get yourself occupied. Pray with your partner. If you can open up so your partner can help you to come out from that kind of position because the enemy actually uses this kind of thing sometimes to destroy the house. You will not know the value of your wife. You will not know the importance of your wife. You will just doing your things like the way you want it. So my beautiful people, what is your opinion on this kind of take? Take a look at the next video. So as a Christian, it's not good for you to use a weight material like some of some objects for you to sin. It's not a good thing. The point is, how do you reach that place? And how are you going to come out so you can be able to be safe? Look around you and ask yourself what you are doing. Is it good? Do not do that. And also Romans said, Romans 12 uh, 21 said do not be overcome by the evil all right but overcome with the evil with good like sometimes do not allow yourself to be overshadowed with evil that rather overcome those evil with a good thing replace that kind of character replace it with the word of god i think what apostle which is dr abel said by reading the word of god you can be able to come out from there because we are not condemning ourselves but we are trying to find a solution for my own trying to find a solution by putting yourself into a prayer reading the word of god and if you have been doing that continue doing that by the time you become habit to the read of the word of god you will know you will know we always must spend time and time to learn on this journey that you are trying to identify yourself because the, the, the enemy is trying to, you know, take away your identity, you know, by putting you into that temptation. That's why for the people who are married also, they do the same thing. But if you are a married man, please try and share with your wife. Let your wife help you in prayer. And also when that kind of notch come, comfort your wife and then do it with your wife. Because that, by the way, used to separate the relationship between husband and wife. Yeah? And that's why you see there are so much issues in marriage. The husband will just be numbed in the house. It's not feeling you whether you're in the house or not. Why? Because he is doing that behind the scene. He's committing sin. And that's why you see so, so many doors can be locked. Why? Because you are committing sin without you knowing that this thing you are committing is a sin. What do you need to do? Is to comfort your partner. Let them know what you are passing through. And those are the kind of little, little things that most of the people are ashamed to talk about. Masturbation is one of them. Because the Bible actually condemn it. And yes, how can you overcome over it? It's for you to be helped by the Spirit of God. Ask God to help you. Ask your partner to help you. When you feel that notch, please comfort your partner. Both of you should find a solution to this. If it's a prayer time, go into it and really, really cry out. Ask God for forgiveness. 
Let God forgive you before you start reading the word of God. And that scripture that the Lord leads you at that moment, let that scripture speak to your soul. Let that scripture become your daily routine. In that way, you can be able to come out and overcome this spirit of masturbation. So what do you guys also think regarding this kind of very big issue? Because it's an issue that our society has become and many people are still into it. A thousand people are out there. They don't know how to come out of it. Uh, and that will lead into destruction very, very soon. Also, your son can be a monk. Your daughter will be a monk. So you don't know what they're passing through. But rather, you can help them. You don't need to condemn them. The same thing. God said we should not condemn people. As long as he's not condemning us. So my beautiful people, tell me in the comment section. Like, share, and subscribe. Bye.